What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a 1v1 <laughs> Today we are doing a 1v1v1 $20 Walmart truck mod challenge. And so what we're going to do is each one of us are going to go in Walmart. We're each going to have $20 and we have to get something to modify your truck. $20. Where am I supposed to get $20 from? It's like 2 gallons of gas nowadays. $20 from me. Just add that to the dust So this right here is all we have to spend. Should we do a time limit? Do you like, do a time limit. Do you like 15 minutes? You gotta have, you know, picked out 20 minutes. Well, $20, 20 minutes. 20 minutes. $20, that's 20, 20 minutes. Awesome. That sounds fair. That's actually good. I like that. Might not even be in the camera angle if I'm standing over there. But 20 bucks, 20 minutes, three different mods, three different people, three one different Walmart. Trucks. Three guys, 120. You got three guys, one cup? Three. Three guys, 120. I like the sound of that. Three guys, one Walmart. Three guys, one Walmart. Three, three guys, one back. Oh. All right, we'll see you guys inside. You got any idea what you're going to do? I have no idea, to be honest with you. What about you, Brandon? I have done very little research. I have a I'm little just, idea. I'm just going to win. I have a little idea. I tried to do some research. I was watching a video and then Justin showed up and I had to shut it off because I can't give out any ideas, but I have a little idea. All right, so what I'm doing for my mod, I'm doing a paracord steering wheel cover. So we're going to take paracord and wrap it all the way around the steering wheel and do kind of kind of like a steering wheel cover, but made out of paracord. I've seen that H2 do it on his door handles inside his Hummer, but I've never seen someone do it on a steering wheel inside a vehicle. So right now, I'm just trying to pick you know what works best they don't just have anything labeled paracord here they've got utility line and i'm thinking that's the next best thing i think i'm gonna do camo because my seat covers are camo but i mean i didn't realize they had all these different different colors they've got they've got purple they've got yellow they've got green they've got blue black they've even got this honestly this would be pretty cool if it wasn't white this would almost match like the color of the truck this yeah. Golden white. Oh, no, that would be fire. Double green. See, the thing, like, this is a lot thicker than what this is. If I could find this in this color, I would get that. Maybe I'll just go with this. I need 100 foot of it, though, and this is 10 bucks for 25 foot. So, that's not going to work. But this is my $20 truck mod. Now, let's see who's next. Any ideas yet? No, I'm still trying to gain some inspiration. No. And I gotta find some some different rope. They have a hundred foot paracord roll and home improvement. I just have to find it. I mean, you could use the hitch. Oh, you have a Gen Y. Oh, what in the world? Yeah. <laughs> Gen y makes Bro, that's lunch. <laughs> Gen Y makes a flag. What's crazy is like this one where it has like actual like stuff for trucks. That's why, Man, you know, if this video does well, I mean, we could come here, we could do rock lights, do, I mean, hell, $100 flagpole, LED flagpole. Damn, I'd be over my, I did, I was thinking about doing LEDs, but. I mean, they got a dash kit, they got floor lights. I mean, this is where I expected you guys to go, though. You guys weren't expecting the paracord. I was not expecting that. That caught me off guard. That was actually very uh, intuitive. What that was. It's actually a really good idea. It caught me off guard. I was like, well, damn. Here you go. Get some. Brandon, you want some black hubcaps for the 26s? Oh, hell yeah. It'd be like a, a center cap. You could mount it to. I don't know. Oh, that's over budget, anyways. So you'd mount it to something and make some floaters. Window tent? Tint your sunroof? Oh, yeah. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Oh, Yellowstone sticker? Oh, say less, I'm sold. Bro, Yellowstone on the Lariat? Carbon fiber license plate cover? Invisible steering wheel mod? True, true. That's why I reached out to you guys so early in the week, because like I was sitting there thinking and I came up with this and I was like, let me give them you know, a heads up, that way they can come up with something. That way it gives you guys time to think and be creative. Dude, they sell shackle mounts here now for 10 bucks. If you guys enjoyed this video, 
smash the like button. Let's hit our goal of 500 likes. We hit 500 likes, and we will bump this challenge up from $20 to $50. And then that unlocks a whole new area of different truck mods that we can do. I mean, for 50 bucks, you got floor lights, you've got these ultra glows, you've got pods, you've got LED tailgate strip, you've got more pods. Hell, I mean, Brandon to do his, his flagpole idea with the hitch and that $50 budget range, so. Yeah, that's another thing. If you guys you know, enjoy this video and you guys wanna see it done somewhere else, we can go to Home Depot, we can go to Lowe's, Dollar General, AutoZone, you guys name it, smash some likes, smash some comments, drop some ideas down, and we will knock it out. Yeah, to light up hitch cover, you can put that in the Gen Y for five bucks. Justin has an idea what he's gonna do. I was like, they got a magnetic mount for 12 bucks right there. There was one in, on that clearance wall over there. Justin thinks he's gonna do a phone, phone holder. Bluetooth speaker. You pull a whistle and diesel mod, punch your radio out, and throw this in place. <laughs> I'm actually kind of jealous of your idea, because that's a good idea. I, that's why I told you guys like a week in advance. That way you guys should think. I just come up with it. Oh, Brandon's over here helping someone with audio. Once we finalize an idea for him, I'll let you guys know. Brandon still has no idea what he's doing. All right, they don't have camo, but they've got red, white, and blue. And they've got it in 100 foot. It's poly rope, which closest thing to paracord. They have actual paracord over here, but they've only got it in 50 foot sections. And I need 100 foot of it. because They've got this right here, which would be perfect. Uh, or even this would be perfect. But they only have it in 50 foot sections and I need 100 foot of it, so. This right here will have to do is without this, I don't even see another 100 foot one. They got twine basically, and they've got white, and I don't want white because I would have it black. Anyway, so we're gonna do this red, white, and blue. I think it'll look pretty cool. He went with a camo steering Yeah, he went with a camo steering cover under 20 bucks, and he's on the ceiling fan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're over in lighting now. They have these color changing LED puck lights that even come with batteries. $15. But I know Brandon has a 110 outlet in his center console in the back seat. So I'm over here looking at this stuff. All right, so after some thought, we now have, we have a 110 to light bulb adapter and then a disco bulb that will plug into that. So it'd be like a $20 Starlight kit. It's a uh, party in the back seat if you know what I'm talking about. He's, sit, he's you know sitting in the back seat with a bag of chips just screaming his head off. <laughs> Brandon's gonna mount this in his Gen Y. It hooks up to the brake controller and you have a reverse light and a brake light that he would mount in his Gen Y. So. I guess I still have money left. I could just get a hole saw kit and cut holes in the frame. For yeah. <laughs> Whatever you want to do, buddy. <laughs> Made a little pissed up. Alright, we are back at the house. I got my paracord. I got a hundred foot of it. This ended up being ten bucks right here, so mine. It was $10 cheaper, so I even picked up some beef jerky and we got Subway. I went a little bit over budget on the Subway. But this is gonna be mine. Mine's gonna take a little while. Everyone else, they've got pretty simple mods that, you know, under 20 bucks isn't gonna take very long. But this is probably gonna take me, I'm gonna say 30 to 40 minutes to wrap the whole steering wheel. So, what'd you end up getting? Got me a disco ball for my back seat. It's gonna be a party in the truck. So he got a, it's a light bulb, but he's got a 110 outlet in his center console. So we got a 110 to a light bulb adapter, and then the light bulb's gonna screw into that. And then it turns into like a galaxy in the back. So that should be pretty cool. Party time. What'd you get? I've got some interior floorboard lights, and then a hitch cover that also lights up. And I'm curious to see if this is gonna work with the Gen Y. I think it should. I wonder what the shank size is on the Gen Y. Uh, two inch. 
but just a little tip for you guys if you guys are going to walmart and you're wanting to do this truck mod challenge look outside of the automotive section retail stores are set up to where if you have something in mind like for instance truck interior lights you're gonna go to the automotive section and that's where they put them and they're ranging from 20 to 60 dollars for them walk a little bit farther go over to the entertainment area you know tvs cell phones headphones stuff like that and you can find a whole section of led lights for your tv your computer they even have in vehicle lights they have phone holders and everything and they are significantly cheaper i mean almost 50 percent cheaper in that area just because it's not put in the automotive section so branch out i was looking in the camping section for this and actually i went on the walmart app and looked up paracord and ended up finding out that this was in the home improvement area uh online they had camo but we're gonna work with the red white and blue i still think it looks pretty cool and honestly depending on how this turns out i might do this in the f-150 and match the blue on the truck so we're gonna jump right in start getting these mods installed bubba truck stocks and mud tires boys i'm trying to get like that on the 250 but no one's buying the brodo metals all right let's see here i don't think the outlet has power whenever the truck's off is a thing so first things first i like these seat covers thank you sir first like things first box. take this out this is, it almost looks like a brass nipple this looks pretty fun God dang the paint is freaking hot on this thing yeah it's dark <laughs> dark paint sucks it was burning the side of my hand all right yeah, I don't think it's gonna have power unless the key's forward. Oh shit, all right. Oh, fuck yeah. Bro, that's actually pretty cool. All it's right. a party back there. All right, hold on, I gotta climb in here. It's party time. Oh, holy shit. Close the door. Oh, actually, that, that's actually pretty cool. That, that you could cool. actually have this on while you're driving too because it would be behind you it's not going to interfere with the front now you know why aaron got in the back seat right because it's party time back here oh, now yeah. oh you made me ink i wasn't sure because i knew this was going to be pointing towards the ground how it was going to work out right. but honestly i think it works out better this way because the whole back seat's lit up the whole roof is lit up and it stays out of the front so i mean if you wanted to have this on while you're driving it's not going to be a problem yeah, that, that's actually a lot cooler than I thought it was going to be. I was like, I really wasn't sure. Now that that's done, I think it's pretty cool. First, we got this little back board. That should, yeah, should just plug into your trailer harness. And then that white is going to be a signal for your reverse. So it doesn't come with a pin. So we'd have to, we'd have to get a pin for it. Aha. Uh -huh. Now we're talking. Yeah, so to use it on the Gen Y, I'd get a jumper, which I mean, the, that was like five bucks, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's not bad at all. It works. Oh. It works. Yeah, yep. it lights up with the hazards. That's pretty cool. You do these, I will start on my steering wheel. Sounds good. Because these are going to take you a little while. All right, so I just went to YouTube Academy, and I'm ready to start this. Start out with a loop, and start out next to one of your sides. Fish it through. What? <laughs> All right, now that's 100 degrees. I wanted to show you guys. So this is what we got. 
comes with a remote, the plug for the lighter socket, and two strips because I don't really have anything in the back to mount these on. <clears throat> but like Aaron said, branch out and get away from the automotive section, uh, look a little bit further because these were $10 and every other one was around 25 to 30 so um, and these were in the electronic section if I believe. so we're gonna get them put on probably one side under here and the other side under there tuck the wires up under and get it plugged into a socket so this is what we got out of the box uh, got the instructions we're not gonna need those only thing I'm worried about is maybe one of these not being able to reach to that side. We've got the remote, a uh, little sticky thing here, probably for this. Um, got the plug for the lighter socket. So we're gonna get to it and see if one side will reach over there. And then we have some uh, floorboard lights. So it looks like they're gonna be able to reach. Now, I had this panel pulled off right here. And it looks like we're gonna be able to uh, shimmy this over to the other side so we put one strip over there um, I might need some help but I'm gonna get working on that and start with that side first and I'll mount the other one right up under here all right the other side is in but I'm having an issue getting this adhesive tape to stick so I'm gonna have to figure that out if I have to wipe it down with some alcohol or something but um, we got this side, so we're going to go ahead and put this side in. It was extremely easy. Just set it right through there, go around from the other side, pull it through, good to go. All right, so this side is back in. I'm having the same issue as the other side. This one's at least sticking a little bit over here. So I'm going to have to figure that out. We're like 35 minutes in. Almost got the steering wheel done. I've got this section right here left to do. As you can tell right here, the cord comes on the side, but this isn't loose and flopping around. It's pretty tight right here. So I'm gonna do the same thing to match over here, tie them together right here. Uh, well, we'll cut them and then cinch them down. But honestly, I think this looks pretty freaking cool. It does not feel like what you'd expect it to feel. You, you'd expect to like feel like this and you've got the firmness of the uh, steering wheel in there, and then you've got the, the paracord, and you've got the knots on the back side. Now, you can do these knots wherever you want. You can do them, you know, right here. You can do them right here. You know, you can do them directly on the top. I have it turned to where the knots fall right here in the line of my knuckles, so when I'm holding on to the steering wheel, I can hold on to those knots. But honestly, I think this is pretty cool. I think this would have looked really cool with the camo to match, you know, the, the brown suede headliner and then the ducks blind camo seat covers. I think that would have matched pretty well. But no, blue doesn't look horrible. And I've never seen anyone in the truck scene with a paracord steering wheel. So if people start doing it, you guys know who did it first. Just like that, it is all finished. Now I tried to tuck this cord back behind because the way it worked out, this one ended up on the back side, so you can't see it. But I'm not upset about it. This thing looks pretty cool. It feels cool. The only thing that worries me is I've seen people do this on boats because uh, that's what I, I looked up on how to do this and the people doing it were on a boat. When this gets dirty and it's on a boat, you can just pressure wash it and clean it. Once it gets dirty in here, it's kind of game over. I'd probably take my interior cleaner and wipe it down, but won't ever get it spotless. But this was my $20 mod, but it was actually only 10 bucks, or under under 20 bucks. You can do this in your, your vehicle. And I got a 100 foot, I don't know if you guys can see it 
on top of the, the bed. I've probably got at least another 25 foot left over. If I wanted to do the handles, uh, the handles on the doors, like there, uh, that oh shit handle, that handle, uh, that one and that one, I'd probably do it and have this all match. Uh, but I'm gonna see how well this holds up first. And if it does good, I might go ahead and do the handles and everything. Uh, but let's go check out the interior lights on Brandon's. He got those all put in. Uh, the adhesive is not sticking too well. So if you are doing this, you know, that extra five bucks that he spent on that hitch light, you could probably spend on getting some 3M tape or, you know, some mounting points. Oh yeah, they're not even, they're not even sticking. Get some extra 3M tape or something and be in business, so. Not too bad for a $20 truck mod challenge from Walmart. If you guys enjoyed this video, like I said, 500 lights and we will do a $50 Walmart truck mod challenge. Or if you guys don't want to see Walmart, you guys want to see Home Depot, Lowe's, Dollar General, AutoZone, O'Reilly's, you name it, drop it down in the comments, hit that like button. I'm going to end the video out here. Justin already took off. He had some stuff to do, but you guys already saw what we did on his truck. And honestly, between... His and mine, I think those are the two coolest. But you guys let me know down and below who won. Who do you think picked out the coolest mod? I, Justin's was a sleeper mod because I didn't think that was going to be that cool. Right. I, I seriously thought Justin's was going to kind of be kind of lame. Like he plugged it in and like it just lit up the ground or something. Yeah. But it actually going across the roof, the seats, the doors. It was actually pretty cool. I'm really curious to see what it looks like at night. So I'm going to have him send me a video of it once it gets dark out. I'll throw that up in the end of the, at the end of this video. Uh, but you guys let me know which one was your favorite. You know, what would you pick for your truck? Or if you do something different, let me know down in the comments. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Remember, if you really like this video, drop a like down on the video and drop a comment down below what you would like to see, whether it be Home Depot, Lowe's, you name it. Let us know down below and we'll get it filmed for you guys. $20, $50, $100. The more you guys like the video, the higher we can bump the budget. Hey, and don't click off just yet. Click on one of these other videos that are on the end screen. I have a lot of other great videos up on this channel that you guys might be missing out on. Don't just leave just yet. See you in the next one.